coming in from the pasteurized part and welcome to Sophie Atkins Farms here in St. Jean. I'm joined once again by the owner, John. John, explain for us what we were just looking at there. Well, you see the, the bats are being filled, uh, cultured and uh, rented. First stage, second stage, which is a, a time period of 45 minutes where after that we cut it. And then drainage process uh, by going up the belt, up the semi uh, some And this is feta cheese that we're seeing yes. here. So this is feta cheese made with goat milk, that's right? Correct. Because you kind of do a little bit of both. You have cow's milk here and goat milk. Yes, we do. All right. And so what is the stage we're seeing right now? The stage here that we're seeing right now is drainage process. Yeah. Uh, the first stage where the forms are filled and uh, so someone's filling these containers with the feta and now our job here is to take out some of the water is that what we're supposed to do our job is here to uh, make sure that we have the right amount of level press the press the corners in order uh, for it to have a nice space and okay. uh, so show me what i have to do here on this one so i think this one might be ready to go is this one ready what would we do keep out some cheese here what? No more than that. Oh, we need another one. Oh, yeah. See those ones up. Are these ones already? These are already, yes. These are already. So, we'll put that to the side. so, so this one is kind of level it off. Squeeze, cut the corner, uh, do the corners, level it off, take some off, press it uh, as much as you can. Don't we'll be scared. Okay. The corners, and then pat it in the middle. Yes. And, and it's a messy the job. I'm glad I wore my rubber boots here today. <laughs> And then does that look about ready? That looks perfect. We put it on the side, then the uh, side. And I saw your mom here on the line. She was working away this yes, morning. Yes, yes. So what's the step now? What's going to happen to these blocks? It's this, quite a process. This cheese is going to stay here. It's going to be flipped every uh, hour for two times. Wow. Then it just waits till the culture activates uh, in proper drainage. That's the first stage here. And then over here, we uh, they go into the, the packaging. This is industrial packaging for uh, commercial for restaurants. And how long does it have to sit? How long does feta cheese age? Because I know it lasts such a long time. 14 and 18 hours this, and it's before, ready it, to go. before it's, uh, it comes to arrive to this stage here. And then this stage, oh, so it's going to come out quite condensed. Yes. Is that because all the water has left? Has removed. Yes. removed. For every liter of milk, we get 140 grams of, milk, of uh, cheese. Wow. Yeah, the rest is all water. The rest is all water. And then it gets packaged here weighed and packaged and then it's being sent off to the store. Correct, yes. And you guys are, being, your products are being sold at quite a few retailers. You have them at Costco. We have it at Costco, IGA, Metro. These are the larger formats, but we have also smaller packages, as I showed you earlier. Uh, one kilo and even 200 gram uh, dice feta sold at uh, the smaller retailers. It's so quite a remarkable place. I can't wait. Uh, coming up next, we're actually going to head into the Greek yogurt factory. We're going to kind of take a closer behind the scenes look about how that process all happens. Stay with us, lots more to come here from the Silky Bastion Park in San Jose, and I'm Free Kitty Morning Live.